All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the long awaited Extreme Z Awakening for the Int Ultra Instinct Goku has finally arrived on Global. And in today's video, we're gonna be showcasing him at rainbow status and also with max links. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am super, super excited for this. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, before we get into the actual gameplay, I do want to quickly talk about his Extreme Z Awakening details, so if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, and we'll get into the showcase, okay? So, starting with his leader skill, it is Realm of Gods category, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 160%, or int types, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. His super attack raises attack and defense and causes immense damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 150% and then awakens when HP is 50% or less. And then post awakening, his super attack does stay the same. It still raises attack and defense, immense damage, but his passive becomes Q plus three, attack plus 200% and defense plus 100%. And then a great chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks, which is a 70% dodge chance, and then disables enemy's guard and evades enemy's attacks, including super attacks, for one turn after awakening. So, essentially, the first turn that he awakens, he has a 100% chance to dodge all attacks, and then after that, it still is very respectable at 70%, just like the AGL UI Goku and the STR UI Goku for at least the first seven turns. So uh, there you go. That is everything you need to know about the Int UI Goku Extreme Z Awakening. He is an absolute monster. Before the showcase, I can tell you he's gonna be very impressive. So uh, yeah, with all that said, let's jump into the GT Legendary Goku event. Obviously still one of the more challenging events in the game. And Goku is starting with 149,600 and 20 defense and this is before any supers so yeah not a bad start <laughs> not a bad start now let's give him a couple orbs here uh i'm gonna give just one orb to vegeta and we'll save these ones for the tech vegeta there we go so let's see what kind of numbers goku gets to okay so almost 3.4 mil almost 3.4 million without any support for the first super attack, additional, not a super though. Additional super would have been really nice. And then we took the normal for about, what was it, 100, 200 damage, something like that. All right, good first turn, guys. Good first turn for Goku. Now, of course, we still have a lot more turns to go. We still have a lot more supers that he can do. Yo, this Vegeta's going ham. It's not actually a good thing because I really wanted my tech Vegeta to get at least one super off just to build his defense, but it's okay. It's fine. Okay, so on this turn, we have the friend Goku, and the friend Goku actually is also maxed out. Okay, so we have two maxed out Gokus. His Goku's actually a little bit better than mine because he has more additional, so he has a higher chance of getting that double super. So uh, I guess we'll focus on the friend Goku instead of mine. Kind of sad. Man, I just don't have good skill orbs right now. Like, if I if I had the additional skill orbs, I would give it to my Goku, you know? But whatever. Anyways, uh, the friend also 149,620 defense. And uh, let's give him... Yes, I'll give him these ones. We'll give the Int or the uh, AGL UI those orbs. And blue boys can get those. All right, so I'm expecting similar attack stat, maybe a little bit higher because we do have more links. There we go, 3.6 million compared to 3.4 because obviously uh, there's more shared links with the LRUI versus the LRSSBE. And there's the additional attack, okay. I mean, this is awesome. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm just slightly salty that my Goku is not doing the additionals and his Goku is. Ooh, okay. So we got hit by a super there. Obviously, with the type disadvantage, we still got hit pretty hard. Um, but it wasn't too bad. It, it, it wasn't too bad. And I don't think this Goku 
like the, the GT Goku lowers defense, right? I kind of missed it. I didn't see a symbol though, so I don't think our defense got lowered. At least I hope it didn't, because that would kind of suck. All right, so back to my Goku now. And uh, our defense is up to 200 and 8,270. Obviously, we got the support this time from Topo, which gives us an additional 40% defense. So that definitely helps. But still, over 200,000 defense at this point in the showcase is quite impressive. And let's see what the attack stat here is with the additional attack support too. Over 4 mil. Just like that. Turn 1, 3.4. Turn 2, 4 million. Give me an additional super. Damn it. No, at first I was like, he's going to die, but he didn't even die. And we still didn't kill him. And we, oh, we, and we still didn't get the additional super either. That's unfortunate. Still though, 4 million attacks that on the second appearance. Now back to this Goku here. Um, I should probably give the Vegeta a chance to attack because right now his defense is abysmal. We need to stack him a little bit, otherwise we might be screwed later on. Mm, let's do... Let's do it like this. I'm gonna put the Vegeta in front. Let's give him all those orbs. We can at least get a guaranteed super attack. And then for the friend Goku, up to 209,000 defense with the double super, very impressive. And then we can give a 24 key super to my AGL LRUI Goku. It hurts to take him out of rotation, but we're not really trying to showcase him because people already know what he can do. So this is good. This is really good. All right, we want those additional supers. Okay, 3.8 mil for the friend into UI. Will he get another additional? Oh my god, he got another additional. Okay, I gotta get those skill orbs, man. I might buy those Vegeta packs. I, I might buy those uh, Vegeta Pilafs Trove packs just to get the level 5 gold additional to give to my Goku. Because this is making me sad, man. My Goku's not getting any additionals. The friend Goku already got two back-to-back -back additional supers. That's not fair, man. It's not fair. Okay, so now we're back to my Goku, and I would like to get that transformation, that awakening, as soon as we can. So, uh, I'm gonna leave UI Goku where he is. He might get screwed by a super, but I don't think a super would kill him. That's the thing. I, I definitely don't think a super would kill him, so hopefully we just take a lot of damage from a super attack, survive, and then get the awakening next turn. Oh, here we go, okay. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's good. That's good, that's that's enough, I think. Or very close to enough. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, we're below 50% now. And if we take one more like good attack, um, I can be sure, because it was like pretty close, I think. It was like right at the border. But I think we're there. Let me just take a closer look. I'm not sure actually. It'd be sad if we were like just over the limit. If it was like 51% going into the next turn. But I don't think so. I think we 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 should be fine. This sh they should just give us like a number, man. It should just say like what percentage we're at. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're we're good. We're good. So our first UI Goku Awakening. That is beautiful, man. That's so clean. Oh, we got the Icarus too. Nice. Um, let me see. So defense is 266,000. Actually, it's a little bit higher linked with Topo. Um, I'm going to put Topo at the end though, because he can take those attacks really well with his damage reduction. And we have guaranteed dodge right now, so I don't have to worry about, you know, I don't have to worry about taking any damage right now, so let's just uh, give these to Vegeta. And then, ooh, a super for Topo too, nice. All right, one dodge. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna super me? You're gonna super me? I don't think so. <laughs> I would have been concerned. 
if it wasn't guaranteed dodge though because for some reason my ui gokus always take the supers like no matter what man they'll, they'll dodge like 10 normals in a row and then they're like oh a super attack nice let me eat that <laughs> you know like it help it it always happens that way man pisses me off it really does it pisses me off but hey at least uh right now it's 100 percent, so we don't have to worry about it oh snap you know what i just realized we're not gonna get my goku awakened though because we are above 50 percent now oh yeah that's no good that is no good well it should be fine um i'm gonna leave yeah i'm gonna leave my goku where he is maybe we can take another super attack possibly because i really want to get both gokus awakened if not though i guess we can like compare like one unawakened goku to an awakened goku and see like what kind of difference there is maybe i'm not sure i do want to get that dodge chance though right like more, more so than like the dope the animation and everything oh okay we're gonna get our wish oh wait hold on my goku only has level 5 dodge from the free hidden potential <laughs> so you're telling me you're telling me that with a 5% chance to dodge we dodged a super attack but oftentimes with a 70% chance to dodge I can't get a dodge for a super is that what you're telling me right now that's just silly man that's just ridiculous okay so this turn we really have to use something because um if, if if the blue boys get super at the end it's gonna be bad news so i'm not gonna use a snake because i do still want to take some damage but let's use an android 8 and hopefully get below 50 percent hp um you know by by next turn all right so we still get a super with the blue boys that's good and let's see what happens. Alright, so there's a dodge right there for Goku. Only 3.9 mil attack. I believe it's because we lost some links and also the support from last turn. So, ideally, I would get the SSBE back and link him with uh, the UI. Because I believe they do share more links than, you know, this Vegeta and the UI Goku. But the good thing is, this Vegeta is getting pretty tanky now. So, I have to worry about him. I don't have to worry about him as much. When we get to like the Super Saiyan 4s. Okay. Can we take a super? I wouldn't mind a super right now. Oh wow, okay. Alright, that was unexpected. Um Let me think. So Goku's at four hundred and sixty eight thousand defense. <laughs> what? 468,000. All right. Um, let me think. Let me think. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, I don't want to break up the UI Gokus. Uh, Topo worries me a little bit at the end. He does have 169,000 defense, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to eat a super attack from the ape. But I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust Topo. And, and once again, like, we kind of want to take damage, so... It's a little bit risky, but we should be okay. All right, so 4.6 million attack now from uh, UI Goku. Can we get an additional super though? Oh my God, again with the additional normals. That's annoying, man. If you're gonna give me an additional, make it a super. Otherwise, don't give me any additional attacks. Cause like, what's the point of additional normal? Like, what's that gonna do for me? It's not even gonna do that much damage. Like, it's just, it's just pointless, man. Just false hope. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh! Hey, you know what? He heard me. This UI Goku heard me. I was like, yo, I heard you're talking trash about my my dodging. Or, or lack of dodging for supers. So let me show you what I can do. That was good, man. That was impressive. That was impressive. Alright. Uh... So what I'm going to do now is link up these boys. 
And our defense is at 263,000 for the MUI Goku. Uh, let's just give him one orb. Oh, we got the Dokkan attack too. Nice. And then SSBE should finish things off if uh, Goku doesn't. There's a dodge. Nice. Let me get this Dokkan attack off. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done. I don't know what it is, but recently I've been messing up these super attacks a lot. Like these Dokkan attacks a lot. I've been um, getting like three out of seven, like two out of seven. I'm just like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I feel like I'm clicking it, but for some reason it just says I missed it. I think my game, my screen might be broken. I think my screen might have some issues. Maybe I should take it to uh, the Genius Bar in the Apple Store. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay. So this is where the blue boys really shine. This is where the blue boys kind of come in clutch. But at the same time, I want to test our UI Goku's tanking ability a little bit more. So we're not actually going to let the blue boys go off. We're just going to let uh, Int UI Goku take all these attacks and see what happens. So far, so good though. So far, so good. Double digits, got a triple digit there, 70. 4.1 mil attacks that. Okay. Additional super. Oh my god. Stop doing that. Stop doing that, man. Every single time I see an additional normal, it just hurts my soul. It's not cool. Anyways, good tanking. Really, really good tanking. I, I was impressed by that. But, um, some additional supers would be nice. And also, we still haven't been able to get the transformation. I guess it's really hard to get two Gokus transformed. Because once you have the first Goku transformed, you're not taking much damage. Especially on a team like this, where like a bunch of people are dodging. Right? Like, it's just, it's just hard to take that much damage, or take enough damage, to get both Gokus transformed. You know, so... I guess it makes sense. I guess it makes sense. All right. Um, is Topo at the end there going to be okay? Hopefully he doesn't get supered. <laughs> that that's that would be unfortunate if he did. But let's leave him there. Let's just uh, continue watching this MUI Goku. Okay. There's a dodge. Second dodge. I mean, chances are he's most likely going to be the one to get supered with all of these uh, attacks in the first slot. But you never know. You never know. Sometimes the game feels like... Ooh. Okay. So 5.5, 5.6 mil for both supers. There's the super from Super Saiyan 4. And... We dodged it. Holy crap, we dodged it. All right. All right, we're, we're, dodge, we're dodging everything. He can't stop dodging. Yo. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm going to stop talking trash now. Until until I guess get screwed by another super to UI Goku, I'm going to stop talking trash about his dodging, man, because he's coming, clutch, coming in clutch today, for sure. And I'm so glad Topo didn't get supered, because that would have ended really bad. That would have been a terrible time for us. Okay, 329,000 defense. That is more than okay. And then get the 18k super for UI. And maybe a super for Vegeta. I doubt he's going to get to attack though. Yeah, with these guys uh, both going off, I don't think Vegeta's going to get to attack. Okay, here's a super. 138k. Really good. Really, really good. 4.23 mil is the attack stat. Obviously, the transform Goku will hit much harder. Um, but this guy's still doing well. You know, his tanking is still like very, very holding up very, very well. Now, a lot of people have been asking me like who I would bring for, uh, you know, for this team or for like Reps Universe Seven between this Goku, like the Int UI and the STR UI. And obviously, this question is only relevant for now when we don't have the same name update, right? Once we get the same name update, it doesn't really matter. Just bring all of them. But for now, I would say 
It depends on the event. Uh, for shorter events, I would still bring the uh, STR UI, but for longer events where you can stack for many, many turns, like, like this one, for example, I would go for the INT UI because his defense can get much higher. His attack can also get higher potentially near the end of the event, like here. So um, it depends. Yeah, I would do STR UI, the LR, for shorter events or medium events, and then for long events, I would do INT UI. So both of them still have their uses for sure. But once again, just bring all of them once uh, the same name update drops probably sometime next month. So here we go. I'm going to pop the active skill for Vegeta first. Let's get a little bit of damage in there. And then obviously uh, I'm expecting some pretty good things from the NTY Goku against Tech full power Super Saiyan 4. I still can't get over how good the active skills for the Goku and Vegeta look, man. It's so clean. It's so clean. Alright. So, uh... Let me see, let me see. Um... We should be fine defensively. My, my concern would be the blue boys at the end. But I think they'll hold up well after they super. Or at least, like, they won't die from a super attack. In theory. The best case scenario would be we get the transformation. Although, we can't dodge anymore, right? The uh, full power Super Saiyan 4 nullifies or cancels dodge. So maybe I don't want the transformation now. <laughs> maybe I don't want the transformation anymore. Double supers though, I like that. I like seeing those double supers. Yeah, look at that tanking, man. 11 damage. 11 damage! SSV with his shirt off. Good times. Additional. Oh, normal. And there's a super attack. I'm going to guess we take 100... 100k, maybe? A little bit less. 120. Pretty close. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're finally getting the transformation. We're finally getting the transformation after 15 turns, I think. So, you know, it's not always easy to get, for sure. Like, under 50% HP is fairly restrictive. I guess. It's not the worst, but it's a little bit restrictive. Like, I would have liked to see, you know, 50 per 60%, 70%, but it's okay, man. He's still such a beast. He's still, still godly. No pun intended. Maybe a little bit, but no, he's, he's still a godly unit for sure. Alright, uh, that is a bunch of attacks at the end. Holy crap. Okay, um... I mean, Topo's got the damage reduction, though. Although, we still, I'm still concerned, like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Because, here's the thing, AGL UI can't dodge anymore. So, if he takes a super, that's going to be bad news. Um, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it like this. I'm going to pop a Princess Snake. Okay, just to be extra safe, I'm going to put Topo in the front. I'm gonna put the uh, int UI in the end. Uh, this should be okay. It, it should be okay. There's no guarantees, of course, but I feel like we're gonna kill him next turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter if we mess up this rotation right now. And the good thing is we also get an additional attack buff from Topo Super, so we get to uh, see some more damage out of the two UIs. Okay, there we go. 12 damage. 103, 80, nice, 5.6 mil for HL UI. Is he gonna finish it? If he gets some crits with some additional supers, then it's over. Right, there's one. Oh, no additional, okay, okay, that's fine. Perfect, and now, <laughs> int UI 6.1 mil. Can we get an additional? Can we get an additional? Fitting that it's an additional normal. Yeah, every, every single time, man. Every single time. It's okay, though, because it's over, guys. This is going to be the final attack. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, you know, Int UI Goku Easy A Showcase. I sure as hell enjoyed making it, man, because uh, 
this guy and this team overall is just really fun to use. I've been having so much fun with Dokkan these days just because of all these new units. Uh, I've been farming the links for the new free-to-play units too. If you guys aren't on that, then definitely get on it because they're going to be monsters once uh, the Extreme Z's Awakening. Extreme Z's. Extreme Z Awakenings come in part 3 for the, the Roshi, the Tin, and um, Roshi, the Krillin 18, and the Fizz UI. They're all worth farming out, so go get on that. But uh, there you go, guys. That is today's video. Easy A Int Ultra Instinct Goku. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. And uh, yeah, I do need to get him those skill orbs because my, my Goku was severely outclassed by the friend Goku today. It's just facts, man. Shout out to whoever's Goku that was. I didn't even check, but whoever's Goku that was, you have a good Goku on your hands. Congratulations. Mine will be even better, though. I'm going to give this guy level 5 additional on his silver skill orb and also level 5 on that gold for a level 25 additional and hopefully he'll be additional attacking supers more than you know once per run so that's it guys that is the int ui goku easy a showcase hope you guys enjoyed it once again as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.